Now this strategy you might think holds only a little bit of importance or holds not much value but I argue for you the single biggest regret I have when I did my PhD and that is a notion of having hobbies that you actually ingrain in your kind of weekly life. Now you heard me talk about the notion of mastering a calendar and I said back then about make sure you put stuff that is related for you, for yourself, you know, health and well-being, for your own self-value and self-worth and the whole notion of you looking after yourself is actually having hobbies. Now, you may have hobbies going into your PhD already, but even if you don't, learn new hobbies, find new hobbies, explore. You're not, you're not in prison. A PhD is something you're supposed to enjoy. It is hard work. It's supposed to be hard. That doesn't mean you don't have a life afterwards. So within your university that you're in or institute, or in the country that you're in, in the city that you're in, there might be new things you want to explore, new things you want to trial out. Make sure that one, you try them, but two, you make time for them in your calendar.